we talking about? What's up, you guys? How are you guys doing today? I know I've been gone for a little minute, but you know what? Friday, I had that opportunity to take day off and take my hair down and decided I would do my own hair, y'all. I did not feel like paying these people $250 for something that I already knew how to do my damn self. So anyway, I'm back. So let's get into it with this damn video with Tini and them because I got a whole lot to say. I figure I'm going to give them they own little spotlight because I don't want the video to be long, long, but... They, the shit I got to say about their ass, it's going to be a little bit long. Now, I'm glad they started it back from where it ended with them having that little fight, which gave me a little zoom in on Teeny's mama. What the hell was wrong with Teeny's mama? Was she hanging out with Karen on them damn gummies? I just wanted to throw the mama some damn popcorn because she just sat there and didn't do shit. She didn't intervene. You didn't see her hand go up. She didn't try to stop her ignorant ass daughter. She didn't try to talk to stop the ignorant ass mama. Not like she had to fight or do anything like that. But she could have said something like, hey, can we save this for another day? She just sat there mute like she just didn't have, didn't want no parts, didn't have nothing to do with it. The shit was weird to me that she just did, 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 just didn't do anything because that couldn't have been my mama now i don't know about you guys mama but my mama was not i'm the only child there's no way she would have sat there and let that shit go on with the first pop off there's no way my mother she didn't she wouldn't know how to keep her mouth shut so it's just weird that the mama just said did nothing just sat there like i said just want to throw her ass some damn popcorn since she was just there to be entertained and watch the damn show so again, when I look at it with a fresh new pair of eyes, Tini, at the end of the day, I'm going to hold you 100% responsible for how it ended up, okay? I'm going to just have to say that you should have been able to control somebody doing this shit to you. Like, you should have been able to hold your damn, you should have been able to, to not uh, get active because you got active. Um, she had to do movement. You can't get in somebody's face, anybody's face, and think they can't get up and ain't going to do shit as long as mama was sitting her corny ass in that seat and wasn't getting up you just could have just walked your little funky ass around the corner you can't tell me you was on your period you was feeling some kind of way ain't trying to hear that shit your kids was there you should have been able to control your damn self you should have been able to control it and just kept it moving Again, that was the time mama should have just got up when Teeny got up to help push her ass along to make sure she didn't turn her goofy ass around and just swing her beautiful head around and start talking shit. That's what you should have been doing, Teeny's mama. So again, Teeny, I would never put my hands on anybody's mama. When that lady got up, you smushed her in the face first. She didn't even put hands on you first. She was still just talking shit. You smushed her in the face and then she had to hit you. Okay, She had to fight back. But you did all that. Now you got your husband falling all on top of his mama. You know when we get a certain age, when we fall down, shit don't bounce back as good. So I got your punk ass for elder abuse because you should have been able to control your damn self. Now, as I'm watching this fight go on and go on and go on, and I'm watching Teeny trying to pull this lady's leg about three or four times, and in that moment, I said, okay, security, where are you? Where are you? You should have stopped this a long time ago. This is an elderly lady on her back. You don't know what could be wrong with her at this point because she might not feel it today but she gonna feel it and you guys didn't even try to break it up but then when you did you broke it up very slowly you weren't really trying to break this now shit again up. as everybody scattered i still don't know where the hell did tinny's mama go where does Teeny's mama go? She just disappeared. Did she run on the elevator? Because they sit there trying to chase Teeny's uh, uh, homeboy's mama to try to get her to say some shit. She's trying to go away just talking crazy mad shit about her. She said some great names about you. Um, that was absolutely funny, Teeny. She called you every name in the book. But mama, you weren't going to kick her ass again. You didn't kick her ass the first time. Only person I saw on that ground was you. And had she been able to pull your ass from up under your son, she would have bounced. You wouldn't have made it, Mama. I have to tell you, Mama, you wouldn't have made it. Now, Tina, your husband told you the same thing. Why'd you get active? You talking about he got active. Like I said, why'd you get your face all in my mama's face? You started that shit when you got all up in her face. Like he said and we said, you should have walked your ass around that damn corner and just kept it moving. You know you're messing with ignorance. You knew she was ignorant. Now, you don't turn out to be more ignorant than she is. It would have just been her by herself had you not just, if you would have just walked away, we still would have just been looking at ignorant ass mama. But you just became more ignorant than her because of what you did because you couldn't control your damn self. Now what brought a little bit of tears to my eyes, y'all, is when the daughter went there to try to calm her mama down. And again, I said, where the hell was Tini's mama? 
Because the little girl shouldn't have been there trying to calm you down, Tini. That wasn't that little baby's job. That wasn't that baby's job. She says, I wanted to get in, but she's like, I know I was raised right, and you would have told me to stay in the child's place. Well, your mama should have stayed in an adult's place. She couldn't even fucking do that. But like I said, where was Tini's mama? Tini's mama should have been there. Okay, and the friend should have had the kids together. That's the, the fuck. Now, here's the thing that's aggravating the shit out of me about his dusty mama. First of all, he said he don't even make the money he was making out here because he was hustling in prison. But mama, you didn't even give a shit that him hustling in prison could have got him more time. You was con concerned more about him taking care of you. You got two legs, two arms. You didn't even have a handicap sticker on your car. Fucker. Now, I know you said you had to take care of your mama, but so did I. I took her and my mother during her, uh, her her stroke, after her stroke, and I went to work eight hours a day. Tired as shit, but I would never take money for my son. It is definitely money that he's gambling in that can cause him to do more time in prison. So, mama, you ain't shit for that, that you still mad that he's taking care of his wife and kids, regardless of whether those are not his kids or not. That's his family. Go get you a husband, a sugar daddy, and a, and, a, and a fucking job. You too, Teeny. Your punk ass can deserve to get a job too. Out there spending $250 on season tickets. And you know this boy got a 9 to 5 and ain't hustling like it. You could have paid for one day. So your punk ass got out there and get a job too. Both of you have to get a job. You and the mama. Both of you guys in here just got this boy working here hard while you two bras is fighting over who gonna get his check that he working his ass off for. Both of you dusty bras need to get a job. Teeny, your kids in school. Mama, ain't shit wrong with you where you can't work. You get disability. If you do, you better learn how to earn your money or save it or do something. But stop living off this little boy. I ain't gonna call him a little boy. I just say that because I got a son the same age. Stop living off this boy. I wouldn't even want to take money from any of my kids. I don't. That, that's weird to me. That's weird to me to even have to... I've never asked my kids for any money. I just... Mother's Day, Christmas, and what any of the holidays. But honey, I'm just not going to ask my babies for no money. Not, both of you guys are out of pocket. Now, Tina, I don't understand that little conversation you and your man had because he didn't invite his mama to that damn place. You invited her as. You invited the whole... You had the whole list of people that you invited that did not show up for, for, for this boy at all. Nobody showed up. Okay, and then when the mama came up, she came and, as you say, got, got active and started shit. But like I said, you couldn't control like. yourself. The only thing I liked about what came out of her mouth is that she said, regardless of me and your mom, and I'm paraphrasing, she's like, regardless of what we got going on, I still need you. You still need to handle that relationship and, and, and get a relationship with your mama. But that boy did 17 years, mama. He did 17 years. He is not a little boy anymore. And I, and I can relate because I had a son that did 14 years. But yeah, at some point, you got to fucking let it go. You got to let him go and let him live with his family. I got something similar. Shit I don't like. But that's, that's, they grown. He's a grown ass man. And he shouldn't have to feel obligated to take care of you. And you are an able-bodied person without a handicap sticker on your motherfucking car. So I don't get it. And then he's sitting there. I don't know, it was something in his eyes, and I went back and rewinded when he was saying that um, his family members still send him out texts like, don't forget about us, don't forget about us, how? Is everybody trying to get money? What happened to the business he and his brother had that was supporting her and the house? What? What? Why she don't go to any of them? Because what happened to the business? What was the business? Did we ever find out what the business was that they ain't got now that he's out in the free world with his brother? They kind of just skimmed over that shit. Let you guys know some shit. Let me know. But at the end of the day, both of these just need to get a job. Okay, and stop trying to live off of this boy's little old check. He's trying to do the best he can, try to have fun, and the, and, and the family won't even come see him. What's the problem with the people come visit his ass? It's not like she said that you couldn't. They, no one could come over, so I don't understand why they're sending this boy text saying, well, don't forget about us. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, that's it. That's all. It's my first video that I ain't did in a while, and I had a long, you know, when you don't go to work for a couple of days, they tear your ass up that day you come in, because I was off Friday, and I took off Monday. Anyway, I will come up with Trippy Troy and them guys tomorrow and finish the rest of those non-irrelevant people that shouldn't even be on the show, and I think you guys know exactly who I'm talking about.
Anyway, I got to go get some shit ready for my husband for dinner. I'll see y'all with something else later on. Tell me what you guys think about the mama and the crooked ass daughter, uh, wife, all trying to take this boy's money and everybody can get a motherfucking job. Don't be an asshole, y'all. Bye.